I don't know much of what to say in this situation. I've just been staring at the Linkin Park stuff framed all over my room for a while. My heart goes out to Mike especially, and of course LP and Chester's family. Like thinking about LP concerts that I've been to and ultimately why the most untouchable voice of our time is no longer with us. It's just, it's really depressing. Linkin Park has been my favorite band for over 15 years. Mike Shinoda is my favorite artist and will always be, but Chester made the duo. Chester made the songs I hold so dear with the band. I mean, I've owned every album since Hybrid Theory, downloaded every single unreleased underground song, not to mention the Dead by Sunrise project and just so much more. I was at one of the few concerts that Chester's friend Chris Cornell not only attended but had a duet with Chester on stage. And I mean, I see people saying it's the hate for the new album. It's just, it's all of this hate that's getting to Chester. But really, I think this was so much more about Chris than it was about Backlash for the One More Light album. I mean, Chester commits suicide on what would be Chris Cornell's birthday. Chris hanging himself earlier this year has to be the main reason for all of this in my mind and I think Chester's suicide was planned before the record released, at least he thought about it before then. I mean, look at the track list for One More Light. Nobody Can Save Me, Good Goodbye, Heavy, Halfway Right, One More Light, it just it sounds like a goodbye to everyone when you really listen to the album over again, which I've been doing since Chester's death. I mean, this record was almost all Chester vocals. Linkin Park has dealt with backlash and not caring about pleasing everyone for, for years. It's not just happening right now. And it's it's not all of a sudden that it's the problem. Chester was abused as a child, he did heavy drugs, he fell in and out of it for so long, had a divorce, has six kids, like, you can listen to Halfway Right and you can hear it for yourself. You don't need to listen to me tell you. You can hear it in Dead by Sunrise. And sometimes I feel like I want to die are the lyrics in Crawl Back In even. He's always suffered from depression. But just in Japan, just recently, I've been watching like interviews with, with Chester for two to three hours just the other day on the new album. And he seemed so happy about it, so excited. And looking back at some points, it was, it was too happy. Maybe even in a manic state. I've worked in a psychiatric hospital and with psych patients. If a person struggles with depression and all of a sudden they just seem fine, they just seem completely happy, it's possibly because that they've decided on a date to pull the trigger and they've come to terms with everything. Chester even stated in one of his last interviews that he's just, he's completely come to peace with everything and at that point I think he had already decided to kill himself. Such an important date was obviously decided in advance, this wasn't random, this was Chris Cornell and Chris Cornell was probably the nail in the coffin for Chester, it was probably the last, the last straw to life's unforgiving nature and it's just so unexpected for me. I always thought to myself, you know, Chester and Mike will be making music into my old age. So I'm an old man, they will be making music that I could always look forward and I can't believe it ended so suddenly. I feel the greats of our generation are disappearing. I'm sad I never got to meet him, but I'm, I'm determined to have a conversation with Mike Shinoda one day. And I'm sure Mike, LP, and the family are suffering to no end. All Mike has reacted with so far is that he is shocked and heartbroken, but it's is completely true. Chester has passed. An official statement will come out as soon as Lincoln Park has one. It must be completely devastating. The One More Light tour is obviously cancelled. Blink-182 is cancelled. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a record player so I can listen to every one of these vinyls I have. Music for me will just never be the same. We lost a voice that can never be replaced. And I am legitimately upset and feel a little just broken inside to lose Chester, especially the way he went because it was a hanging and that hurts a little bit more. I'm just, I'm so shocked that no one noticed his suffering. I know how many people were close with him and it's just, fame and money isn't everything. They're facing the same problems or even worse than everybody else. And Chester said that if he could just get out of his head and keep busy, he was okay. But if it was just him, inside his own head all the time, he was in a very dark place. So all I have to really say is rest in peace, Chester. Your music has gotten me through my own friend's death and so much more of life. It's it's really sad that Chester didn't have that same support. I really think Linkin Park will just live on forever, that they will go down as one of the greatest bands of all time. Chester will, will always be known as one of the greatest singers of all time. Thank you, Linkin Park, and thank you, Chester, for, for everything.